Good morning and welcome to Thought for the Day on this Monday morning, this All Saints Day, All Souls Day. This is our weekend just past when on Saturday night the clock went back an hour, that fall back towards winter. And I must admit, I love that night of the year when there's this gift of an extra hour into the night. I love the few days afterwards as my body sort of readjusts its clock where in the evening feeling tired earlier than I would because my body thinks it's an hour later. But the recompense is seeming to get an hour's extra rest and sleep in the morning. Feels particularly refreshing at this time of year. I wonder in all that has been going on, how rested you feel? How rested am I? Um, I've had a lovely week away with Diana last week. So in terms of being rested, yes, in a good place at the moment. But I know that as we go forward through the season to Christmas, that that restedness will be challenged at times because it is a busy time. With everything in the news about mental health, about increased anxiety, I wonder how important rest is to you how much more important it might be in this season, in the busyness of the world that we see around us every day. Hand in hand with rest goes a sense of peace. And I love that verse in Matthew 11, Matthew 11, 28, where Jesus says, Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Coming to Jesus for rest. So how are you going today? How are you feeling now? Do you feel rested, woken, refreshed from the depths of sleep, as some of the Church of England liturgy says? Or are you weary, heavy burdened? If it's that, then I invite you to pray, to say, Jesus, you said you would give rest, you would help carry the burden. Well, here I am, and I need that help. But I think rest goes beyond us individually. I think COP26, the climate conference, is probably about rest, rest for the earth, whose resources we use to live, but whose resources we plunder at times with scant regard for the consequences. The Bible talks a lot about Sabbath, about times of rest, and in creation, years of rest were written into the ancient Judaic laws. So as we go through our lives, can we keep account of the cost and the stress we're placing on lives and the environment around us as well? And perhaps make some small changes to offer ourselves rest, to offer creation rest and to be restful and peaceful people for others. Have a great week and bless you, and we'll catch up again soon. God bless. Bye for now.